guys. Welcome to the Mini Green Show. Probably, I think. Beautiful downtown Riverside. We're having a good time already. We got some Wake Spears. We got Ryan on this side. We got Brad over oh, here. Hi. Are we on? We got oh, Brad hi. over here. We sure are. Hey, oh, hi, cheers. Brad. Hey, welcome to IE Live Studios, bad. man. We got a Can lot you of. Can hear me? There's a lot going on. He's Can you hear me? Hey, his clip right on okay. you. All right. Hey, it's Brad's first time in the studio, and uh, uh, is it is it cute or what? You know what I mean? I try to bring that. I try to keep the cute guys around. No. <laughs> don't say it. No, we don't know. They're not here because they're cute. They're here because you guys are savvy. Uh, you guys are involved in the IE. Uh, scene, arts and entertainment, you guys, I see you at it shows all the time. You guys love Wicks beer, who doesn't, right? Shout out to Wicks. Woo -woo! Who doesn't Woo! like beer? How to get some of that. Hey, we got some cool uh, people in the studio tonight, guys. I'm really excited about, uh, I I'm excited about every week, but um, I'm really excited again this week. We've got Anomaly, hip hop artist, Woo -woo! in the house. We're going to see a badass music video of his. We're going to get to talk to him about, uh, he's got some cool insight on uh, uh, hip hop and the underground hip hop scene here in the IE, and uh, he's got all kinds of cool stuff to say. I can't say it for him. And then later we're going to be talking to Johnny Manny. And uh, if you don't know who Johnny Manny is, Google him right now. He's got all kinds of fun projects going on, so much stuff. Um, and again, he, he'd explain it better than I. Uh, I. I'd love to tell you all about him, but this man needs no introduction. Guys, you know, I want to uh, talk a little bit about, there's a lot of stuff going on. Ryan, you were there. Yeah. Uh, it's not Dead Festival that happened. Uh, not this past Saturday, but the one before. And um, it was a great show. Rad show, a lot of great bands, a lot of fun. So many good bands. Um, there's too many to, to, I mean, we can't name them all, but I mean, I love the Attic set, always. I mean, you know? who's your favorite to see, though? God, no, you can't ask me one favorite. Voodoo Glow School's uh, set, a brilliant Voodoo Glow uh, set from the Voodoo. Um, then we had, um, God, you know, I always love seeing me first in the Gimme Gimme's. They're always fun. Always the Attic's are always fun. You know, uh, I, I was pitting hard. I was crowd surfing, and I, I've been pitting, I've been punk rocking for 15 years now. And, uh, you know, a lot of people keep asking me, I, this, I have to clear this up, I gotta explain what, what's really going on here. Uh, why are you people, limping, well, Yeah, people keep going like, why are you holding your ribs, why are you limping around? I've been limping uh, ever since uh, last Saturday, Sante, last, last Saturday. And, um, and a lot of people keep like re-explaining the story to other people going, oh yeah, she got fucked up in the pit, she got messed up in the pit. No, that's not what happened. So what happened? Well, I, I pit hard, Brad. I pit hard, well, crowds are hard. Pit hard. You got spikes but, on your jacket, but what, like, <laughs> seriously, what happened? Because we, well, and they weren't letting the spikes in. Ryan right had to carry back to the car for oh, me. It wasn't man, from a pit, was but it gave me a chance it to grab another beer. beer. Be honest, it wasn't from a pit. No, this is different. I've been pitting and crowd serving for for many years, many years, many many many, 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 many years. years. What was um, it from? But th this particular, like I, uh, my root, my the root. Tell me you were vacuuming. Tell me you were like at home. No, it happened at the show. It happened at the show. Ah. Curl my hair and I got a rib cramp. Right, the struggle is real, you know what I mean? What uh, girl problems. No, this happened in the show, but um, and my, my ribs are very, very bruised. I'm, I'm limping around, I'm still not healed, it's been weeks, and it fucking sucks, guys. And here's what happened. Um, it was not because I was moshing too hard. Matter of fact, when I was moshing in the mosh pit, and I was pitting hard, and I fell down a couple times, they picked me up, and other people fell down, I picked them up. One time I fell down, dude picked me up, my hat fell off the ground, he picked my hat up, put it back on my head, Tossed me back in. I was crowd surfing. Another chick put a hat on my head. It fell off. This other chick put it back on. That's no, bro, the kind of good, nice punk rock uh, community that we have here. That's what it's about. Uh, the pits are, are we're circle pitting. We're pitting hard. Um, when people fall down, we pick them up. Of course. It, you know. But this is not what happened. What happened was um, a few fucking skinhead a holes, uh, racist stuff, blocked out security, came in during one of the opening sets. And um, just started like getting anybody who wasn't white. I mean, I saw them targeting black dudes, Mexican dudes, and, and chicks. Um, they came up, dude came up, got me right in the ribs, gave me one of those, and, and it blows my mind. So I had to clarify that because people go, oh, that's what you get, Minnie, going to punk rock show. She pitted too hard. Um, she, got, she got beat up. No. Pits don't do that. No. No, no fuck racism. No, racist idiots do that. Falling right. off walls. And the sad Dude. part about the whole show was it was 20 minutes into the show. Everybody spent $60 to get in. It was a brilliant, it was a brilliant I show. I spent a dime. It was a brilliant show. It was a brilliant show. And I these guys the were not pitting. They were hate criming. And it's totally fucking different. Um, and so that being said, I had to clear that one up. But um, guys, I'm so stoked to have all these badasses in the house tonight. Wait, was it pitting or tonight. not pitting? It was, oh, Brad, I'm going to get this guy. He's going to, one of these is going to be sh 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 over his head. How, how are you feeling on that beer, man? Babe, that, that Paladin is like really, really good. That's one it's of the bump. best beers I've oh. ever had. Oh, and the you way, actually have the Grapefruit the Paladin, way, right? The Grapefruit Paladin is 
phenomenal in the sense that, uh, yeah, it's, it's good. I love your vocab, Brad. I love your vocab. I, I it is phenomenal. Um, I'm, I'm drinking Infinite Summer. You're drinking the Grapefruit Paladin, and that's a treasure right there. Um, yeah, it tastes so great. For, I got to get a sip. I got to get a sip off yours. Over All right. It is so, so grapefruity. I love it to death. How are, how are you feeling over there? Pinky's what are you up. drinking, Pinky's man? Up. Oh, hey. I'm drinking the same one you are, the Infinite Summer. Infinite Summer. Once we're done with that one, we're going to bust in. So this baby over here. That's the Red Parade. Red Parade. I, that's one of my faves now. That's one of my faves. It's like 6.8 or something crazy. 6.0. 6, 6.0. Oh. Six, 6. Oh. Like oh, that's a goodie right there. Hey, guys. Babe, babe, I like this one a little bit better, though. This glass. Can I have this glass? He likes this glass better. Talk about, oh, there you go. He almost <laughs> had it all. Almost, almost missed it. Oh, that's oh. so funny. Oh, I saw that. That jumped right. right. That was liquid right. jumping from glass to glass. That was fun. Cheers, guys. Brad Cheers. is in the house, bartender Brad. Hey, hey. Wix, Brew, and for those company. of you who don't you know Brad, they sure are. For those of you guys who don't know Brad, um, he's a kick-ass bartender I've known for many years. And, um, and where are you at right now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I'm at the Mini Green Show. Mini. Where, where can we see you? Uh, you know, we got a lot of fun uh, people who pop in. On TV. Uh, drinkers, um, pop in, uh, tune into the show, people are arts entertainment. Entertainment, um, and and you Hi. bartend at one of the coolest venues. Uh, well, honestly, in town. honestly, I'm not allowed to say it on camera. So if I told you that I worked at NTL, I would get in trouble. My boss would be mad. But it, honestly, it's it's just shameless. I on, I can't tell you that I work at MTL. You guys on know uh, nights, familiar with Tuesday Mission of Back Thursday Lounge. nights, Saturday nights, Friday nights, Sunday nights. Are all the days Tuesday he's not nights, allowed to Mondays. tell you about? Those <laughs> are all the days. I'm not allowed to tell you that I'm going to be there. Uh, not tonight, evidently. But no, tonight you're at Mini Green Show, I Life Studios, I'm beautiful sick. downtown. Actually, like, tonight, Ryan and I were sick. You guys called out <coughs> sick. <coughs> called out sick. I actually both, went to work though. Uh, we, well, I didn't go to work, so uh, check them out at Mission About Lunch. I'm sure you guys are familiar. There's a lot of bands that me. play there. A lot of brilliant sure. artists that play there all the time, all the time. Hey, I want to bring Anomaly in. He's in the studio. I want to talk to this guy and find out what he's all about. Anomaly, welcome to the hey, Mini Green Show, up? man. And check, check. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay, as long cool. as you're on, man. You right. flip on Twitch. All cool. Right. Thanks Thank for you. coming out, man. Yeah, thanks for having me back. Glad to be here. Round of applause for you because you do this every week. I don't know how you don't get tired. Cheers. I mean. I'll sleep when I'm dead, you know what I mean? Thank you. Thanks again for having me back. Appreciate it. Man, so Anomaly, um, you know, I, I've met you a few times. I met you a few times. I got these mics. I don't know if they really can. I'm All so right. loud. But um, I met you a couple times. Um, but I never got to really a chance to talk to you about your art and, and your music and what you do and why you do it. Why, what made you get into hip hop and why do you do what you do? Uh, well, I guess it started when I was a kid. I used to always be a writer. I used to write it's poetry, you know. But uh, I never really said it verbally until I really got into hip hop. Um, and so when it comes to like making beats or having beats per se, it was hard to get a hold of instrumentals, you know, like. 10, 15 It's a years collaboration ago, thing. You got to link up with somebody, yeah, right? Collabing, yeah. collabing. I mean, even just finding uh, instrumentals like at Walmart was like the thing, you know, because that was the only place we could find them. So every start. Yeah. So you got to start somewhere. But even though before that, I was uh, playing drums in a punk band when I was in high school. How uh, fun was that? It was, I mean, it was, I mean, we're it's kids. It's roots, it's roots, we're kids. Yeah, I mean, yeah but, we're but, kids, but, but it was playing drums, it probably fun. gave you good roots for, for beats in hip-hop. Exactly. And so like Beastie Boys. Exactly. Moved from uh, uh, punk rock to hip-hop, right? Yes, 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 yes. You're not a Beastie Boy, but <laughs> I okay. love the Beastie Boys. I love Beastie the Beastie Boys. Beastie Boys are hard. I love the Beastie Boys. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's how I started making beats because I was like, well, I mean, I could play drums, right? You know, so I could make some beats, you know, so that's how it all started, I guess. And it evolved from there. Sorry, there was like an open seat right next to you. And I was like, dude, don't make me feel all lonesome. Huh? He's on TV by himself. All so good, yeah. Everybody wants to sit next to bartender Brad. Does. You know what I mean? Just yeah. <laughs> don't forget to tip your bartender. Everybody wants to sit next to bartender Brad. Ryan, scoot oh, over, man. Yeah, we man. got the frames all switching out. Okay, yeah. But so, um, no, man. So, it, more. Oh, you. Oh. Oh, okay. They make I a see, scoot. They make a right scoot. Look at this brilliant uh, piece of art that bartender Brad made happen for me. But it's making me nervous as fuck. <laughs> uh, 
is Brad. Not Martin. gonna lie. <laughs> so okay, scoot over to me, man. So um, man, but what influences you? Like, what are your influences? Like, your if you were to talk about your sound, um, you know, who, who are you? Who are you feeling? Say Riverside. Oh, shit, Riverside. Riverside. Riverside, motherfucker. Riverside. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I giving myself the name Anomaly. I think I'm able to get away with a lot. I'm all right, so why the name Anomaly? What's that all about? Uh, well, I mean, look it up. Google it, Anomaly. It's something inconsistent, irregular, something out of the norm, abnormal. No rules. Paranormal, no rules. No, it's a very you know. punk rock, hip-hop name, and I dig it. Yeah. And, I, you know, I like to always talk about how Brad needs a beer. I like uh, to talk about maybe, how... Maybe throw it to me. I'm not... Oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> not in the God. studio. Brad me. teaches me to throw beers. He's throw brilliant at flair. Brad the Barger's brilliant at flair. It's yes. not happening in the studio. Murdoch will kill me. I spilled a lava lamp on his uh, sh- uh, floor one time. I used to have lava lamps on the show. Uh, oh. <laughs> we've come a long way. No, I like to talk about how hip-hop and punk rock have a lot in common sometimes because it's like um, a lot of it's a message, keeping it real. Uh, this, kind of, this kind of stuff, like like Public Enemy and uh, uh, Dead Kennedys aren't so different. No, you know what I mean? Not. When, when you go to talk about like message or keeping it real or like in your face kind of shit, Rage Against the Machine, like kind of kind of stuff. And I, I love that. And that's what I really loved about your music. I watched the music video. I, I've actually been able to see the video that we're going to see later tonight. We're going to see one of his badass videos. And I've uh, uh, had the opportunity to be lucky enough to see it. <laughs> and I've been lucky enough to, you know, see your video and I really what I really liked about Thank it you. is the message you got some cool graphics in there pop around crazy editing and stuff so who's editing this stuff this is uh, well I shot it I took all the shots and actually our trumpeter in our band he did all the edits uh, you have a trumpeter in your band I'm sorry guy. did I just yeah this is like a spa. what did I just hear guy. this is so fun I know I've been trying to get Eugene to do a harmonica rap thing with me <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Actually, we were here uh, last yeah. month uh, with our band, Quetzalcoatl Band, and uh, he, uh, one of our members, plays trumpet in our band, and he did all the edits for that video for my video. Oh, I love it! I but love I took horns. All the shots. I love horns. I, I took all the shots, um, and it's featuring a good friend of mine, uh, Seize Fire. I also have a hip hop group called Immortal Empire. He's a member well, of so that Well, so tell group. the people here where they can get into that because they're on the internet right now streaming it, tuning in. Yeah, what's so up, So tell people? them Facebook, YouTube. Oh, that guy is uh, jacking off right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, just go to Facebook, um, Immortal Empire. Uh, also, you can look me up, Anomaly Productive. Make sure you put Anomaly Productive because there's other anomalies out there. There's actually there's like, like metal bands called Anomaly, you, anomaly, anomaly, you know? You are the only anomaly. Um, around here, yeah. Thank you. Got to be. Everywhere. Yeah. You're the only anomaly the in Brad's only heart. Uh, you're the only anomaly in Brad's Salud. heart. And, uh, man, so uh, if there's Sorry, one thing, you know, we're running out of time, and I want to uh, talk to Johnny Manny. So, um, but if there's one last thing that you would, you know, you want to say, talk to um, aspiring artists or aspiring uh, people who are in hip-hop and local hip-hop in the uh, local around, what would you tell them, you know? Uh, I would say don't listen to anybody. Except for the anomaly. Because... I've, try, I've tried taking people's advice, and, you know, it may work for them and their circumstances, but your circumstances might be different. So just follow your path, man. Find your path first, and then just walk it, run it, sprint that shit, you know. I dig that, because I can your apply dreams, that. You know. Stick to your dreams. You know, whatever your goal is, you got to have a goal. Whatever, you whatever your goal is, just find a way to make it happen. And it's going to happen. Anomaly, thank you so much for coming on, man. Thank You're you. the bomb. Check him out, guys. Check him out. Uh, social media. Let me get a beer, uh, yo. Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, he's he's get a all feel. about it. We're going to show you a music video of his at the end of the show. Um, but I like what he said, um, you know, and I want to, I guess, uh, add on to it a little bit. Yeah, totally. If you have a vision, um, you got to you gotta follow it as long as you, you know, and a lot of people are going to go, oh, here's how you, you should do this. Here's how you should do this. And listen to everybody, but don't listen yeah, to them. Uh, you know, hear, hear what they say. Take it in consideration. But... Um, oh. You know, <laughs> these guys are so fun. Hey, bartender tricks. Make us some room here for Johnny Manny to come in and feel free to go make yourselves a drink now. And oh, yeah, this guy's so fun. Brad, you're so fun. Uh, hey, real- come check out this guy at the bar. Bartender Brad, Mission of Back. I do not work at MTL. This guy knows what's up. Hey, oh, real yeah. quick. He's real quick. just a dish. He's so funny. I want to throw in a quick plug bottles in. all day and anomaly. Quick plug in. My album for this uh, single, the Y video, coming out in December. Also, our band, Quetzalcoatl Band, we have an album release party that I'm producing. 
uh, album release party in Los Globos in Los Angeles, November 11th. So all is that an invite or just you telling us about it? It's all the above. <laughs> it's all the above. above. It's all the above. It's all the above. Also, if you can't make it out to LA in the IE here in Grand Terrace, uh, that's, uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's actually Saturday, November 11th. The one in Los Globos is Thursday, November 9th. It's so many shows, week. right? There's yeah, so much so going many on. Shows. And we're, we're, uh, the album that I produce for our, our band, we're finally coming out with it. We're pretty happy with it. We're proud of it. And I hope you guys can make it. Anomaly Rock Band, yeah. thanks for keeping the music scene alive. You're doing, uh, shout out to Quetzalcoatl, by the way. That was the uh, 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 Latin rock and roll, or uh -huh. what do you call it, Aztec rock, yep. um, that they called it. Yeah, that we had on the show a few weeks ago, and they're great, brilliant. Now he, we're going to see some of his uh, hip-hop side. And thanks for keeping the music scene alive, man, and I'll let you go Thank make you. a drink. Cause thanks I for having me. I know your glass is empty, man, and yep. you pop on out so we can get great. Johnny Manny on. Yeah, Johnny. Uh, Johnny Manny. Absolutely. I'm so stoked tonight. You know, uh, we got Ryan in the house. Ryan's been punk rocking for years. And he's always great insight. And uh, we had Brad, bartender Brad in the house. And, um, and uh, Brad, you did a great job. And everybody give a shout hey. out to Brad. Admission of Backlash. Welcome to the show. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to you later. Over. He's a fun guy. He's a fun guy. We got so many fun people in the studio. A lot of uh, different characters. You know, it's uh, never a dull moment. It's never a dull moment. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's always a little wacky. So it's a little wacky. That's Wednesdays for me, I guess. It's a wacky Wednesdays and shit. So Man. speaking of MTL, real quick. Yes. I forget. I don't know, have to give you the mic. You got a wireless. Do you know DRI just announced an event there? Whoa. What's going on? Tell us about in, it. In November, DRI playing in Riverside downtown at MTL. Man, um, I know I'm stoked about the one coming up. There's so many. There's so many coming up. We used to have a whole. That's why I love that. Shout out to so-called punk band reviews, by the way. Um, we used to have so-called punk band reviews come on the show weekly, every time, and they would tell us about all the cool shit coming up this weekend, next weekend, you know, week after, and this and that. Um, and, you know, I got a shout out. Do a couple shout outs real quick and consider it board shop. Um, was talking to Daniel, Daniel, Daniel the owner, um, earlier today on the phone, and um, he he's. Stoked on what we're doing, and we're always stoked. They have a new location. It's over by the mall. Check it out. If you haven't been in the new location, it's, it's off the hook. Great guy. Does a lot for the community. Uh, really reaches out. Shout out to Mr. Riverside. Uh, my cousin Brad with the Curse Kings. He rides uh, bicycles and, and makes uh, bicycles decked out ones. I mean, these bikes are worth more than my car. Oh, man. Uh, my old car. I, I don't have a car anymore. Because <laughs> I'm trying to get a bike. Because you're trying, to get, I'm a trying bike. to get a bike. Johnny Man here. What's up, Minnie? How are you? Welcome to IE Live Studios, man. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. I I'm glad you were able to make it. I wanted to show you the studio and uh, show you what we're all about and stuff. And I had the pleasure of running into you the other night downtown. And I'm running around meeting people. And I don't know how I met you. But, um, you know, I go, I'm shaking her hand. It's, it's brilliant to meet you. What's going on? What, what kind of badass projects are you into these days? Oh, I'm into a little bit. You know, um... Just recently, I got picked up to be the bass player of uh, a wonderful band. I love the people in this band, the Belligerent Buzzards. Belligerent Buzzards! Oh, man. Woo -woo! I, I, I love those guys. Those I guys love are, Belligerent are really Buzzards. Fun. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Get off my fucking lawn. No, they're yeah. so fun. They're so fun. Um, I had the pleasure of being at one of their first band practice, their first band practice, I think, and, and a few of theirs after. And, and how many songs do the Buzzards have now? Uh, I believe it's like nine and... Um, just recently, uh, I was informed that we're going to take about a two-month break and try to work on some new songs, and we just got uh, a new guitar player, David Crew. I don't know if you know him. He uh, plays with an acoustic band called The Sundowners, and also he's in a band with me, another band with me. We're called The Elders. The Elders kick ass. So tell me, so what's going on? What's, who are the, I haven't heard of The Elders. I'm unfamiliar. Well, and so for anybody who's unfamiliar that's tuning in right now, tell us about it, man. Well, you know, I, I brought you some gifts, by the way. Oh. I brought you uh, oh, a couple stickers. Oh, there's love stickers. stickers. Some, I, oh, my I love God. Elder oh, stickers. My favorite. All right, we got some one for Ryan buzzard and one stickers. for Minnie. And I'm putting mine on my bucket right now. Yeah. And we got oh, another set of stickers. We got to split them up because this is a buzzard sticker right here. And I love belligerent buzzards so much. They have the funnest songs. I love punk rock that's like just like fun and jolly and like you know Oi. their songs. You can learn their songs easy. First time you hear their song, you know it because it's so fun and jolly. It's, it's fun to sing to. It's fun to dance to. And it's, it's 90 just, seconds long. I can't say fun enough times. It's fun punk rock. You know what I mean? I just love it. It's jolly. It's fun. 
Man, so you're doing so many projects right now. Yeah, the reason why you haven't heard much of the elders, uh, we started last year in uh, around October, you know, and um, just a couple guys just getting together, just jamming and everything, you know, and and we decided to name it and everything, the elders, and, um, you know, uh, just recently. Why the name the elders? Well, we're old. <laughs> it's, you know, it's funny because I remember Tracy K. I was talking about like belligerent buzzards, and that you know they're be, they're being buzzards because you know they're they're crotchety or whatever. Yeah. You know, and like the song "Get Off My Fucking Lawn." Yeah. You know, there, there's a lot of like uh, crotchety stuff. But um, <laughs> no, you're never too old or young to punk rock. No, never too old. No, and, never and, too and, old. And, and you know, the drummer for Belligerent Buzzard, Lee, mother effing Lee. Shout out. Uh, Wanna be motherfucking? How's it going? Oh, that's a good one. You just don't wanna be me. I wanna be motherfucking Lee. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Lee's a great guy. He just celebrated a birthday just recently, and uh, we love Lee. You know, uh, but getting back to the elders, uh, the reason why you haven't heard too much of us is like we started in October. You know, it's guys just getting together, you know, and and just playing music. We started playing our own stuff and everything. And uh, just recently, we got a singer. Her name's Christina. She's, uh, we're pretty impressed with her right now. And um, the only show we ever did is, uh, speaking of Tracy Chaos, we did a talent show that she hosts this down here, downtown Riverside. And uh, we did pretty well there. You know, the crowd uh, gave some good responses to us and everything, you know. So hopefully in the future here, you'll, you'll hear a little bit more about us, you know. Cool. Also, do it, do it. also, the elders is a clean and sober band. You know, me myself, I'm uh, I'm I'm glad to say that I've been clean and sober 11 years. You know, here in the city of Riverside. Congratulations, man. That's a Thank big you. accomplishment. Thank yeah, you. totally. That. You know, I mean, uh, got to be in control of our lifestyle and decide to do what we want to do, always. Yeah. And uh, and you know, that's what it's all about. That's what punk rock's all about. I want to drink when I want to drink. If I don't want to, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna change my life and make it uh, different. And I just I I totally respect that and I love that. Yeah. And I think it's brilliant. You're involved in so many things. You're involved in so many projects. And um, probably, you know, you know, I drink a lot of beer. I drink a lot of Wicks beer. Yeah. Um, but Me God, too. I do not play. I can't and, drink and beer. I, I, I'm allergic to alcohol. Every time I do it, I break out in handcuffs. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. That's a terrible disease. I, <laughs> it sure is. Yeah. Man, no, I love your vibe. I'm so glad you came out to the studio. If you had any... Um, um, I don't want to say words of wisdom, but just, you know, I, I like to reach out to the younger generations, um, you know, and, and we got to keep them, we got to keep them in, you know, we, we just went to a show called It's Not Dead. It's definitely not dead. Wasn't it fun? It was, oh, it was fun. Blast. It was off the hook. And I was happy to see it was all ages. There was a lot of, there was a, y- a lot of youngins there. Yeah, um, and that's totally cool. Youngins getting into the punk rock scene because like, usually you see these guys weren't, you know, Walking by, listening to Justin Bieber and stuff like that, you oh, know. Man, that's the and worst I am ever. not promoting that guy, you know. But anyway, you know, yeah, get into the I mean, punk you rock. Want some scene. of the Red Parade, real quick. I was just about to ask you, Ryan. Oh, I'm You're the reader, bomb. Dude. I, like, I love the Red Parade. He knows what I like. He knows what I like. Um, but no, I mean, absolutely. We, you know, I saw Cheap Sex at Showcase Theater when I was 14. That was oh, my awesome. first real mosh pit. You know, I'd been to like small, some shows at a comic shop and stuff, but you know, I, I pitted to, you know, Cheap Sex when I was 14 at Showcase Theater, and, you know, shout out to Showcase, anybody remember Showcase, uh, R.I.P., you know, um, but, so, yeah, it's, it's bringing the youngins in and doing all ages shows and, and, and keeping it real and, and not fucking uh, sucking chicks in the ribs yeah, and, and, and cool. targeting people and hate crime and do more mosh pitting, not hate crime. Yeah, it's fucking mosh, whack. Moshing's about love, you know, it's all about love, you know? Absolutely, yeah, I mean, I, I fell down in the pit, dude picked me right back up, and, Gave and you a hat that wasn't gra- no, even gra- yours. Well, he grabbed my hat off the ground that uh, wasn't mine. No, <laughs> somebody else had put it on my head. He picked my hat off. He knocked me down, picked me up, picked my hat up, put the hat back on my head, tossed me right back in the pit. That's what it's all about. Very polite of him. It was, you know, <laughs> and, you know and he was cute too, so that, that doesn't hurt. <laughs> cute and polite. No, yeah. Mom's all, where'd you meet this guy? Uh, I met him in the pit. No. <laughs> he must have been your punk in shining armor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. All good vibes in the studio, and you guys are just really fun to chat with and, and to hatch this kind of stuff out. And, and yeah, I'm so glad you're here. And, you know, if you were to reach out and, and talk to the young kids, um, you'd be telling them, don't hate. No, don't hate. You know, uh, hating's a waste of time and everything, you know. Um, you know, and, and, and it, you know, 
now in the media, you know, they have it like it's just one race hating, you know? I mean, it's, it's all races hating, you know? I mean, it's just not just one race that hates, you know? It's, you know, blacks, whites, you know, uh, Asians. Well, let me say that. It just super made me think of um, like a, a meme I saw on Facebook. I go on Facebook all the time. And I saw this brilliant meme that said, they show this picture of like a, of a bunch of, of, of scary skinheads like just being mean, right? And they go, you know, black people are afraid of this. And then it showed like, you know, a bunch of black people riding and going, white people are afraid of this. But you know what? Like the man's afraid of is it's fucking this. This, yeah. this is exactly it's what they're together. And get a shot of that right exactly. now. Get a shot of that. Cut to that. Well, you guys are right out of frame, so. Uh, it's like, it's so <laughs> it sweet. was close. It's the sweetest fucking here. moment. Yeah. That's what, you know what I mean? Like totally. Yeah. And I just, it makes my heart feel good. And, and uh, doing the mini green show makes my heart feel good because if we bring people together, um, you know, the first show we did here, coming back on the air, the show, um, this new studio, a mini green show, we had the Rockaways, come on, the Ramones, oh, awesome. Awesome. the Ramones yeah. Tribute Band, love those guys, they put on a good show, I mean, God, they're so fine, they dress up the, you know, in the whole get up, it's like you're seeing the Ramones, they're so fine, and uh, their bassist, uh, something happened, you know, um, all bassists are flaky, no, I'm just kidding, of course. Uh, <laughs> I'm, bass is sexy, bassists are sexy, <laughs> I know, I'm just fucking with you, no, um, Bases couldn't make it, and uh, we actually, our opening artist was this guy named Aaron Chase. Shout out. He does a thing, open mic at the hideaway. I, found, I saw him on the street performing. He's a comedian, and he plays bass, and he does songs and, and jokes at the same time. And um, it, I go, hey, the opening artist is a bassist guy, blah, blah, blah. It's Rockways. They go, wait, he plays what? Like, what? He plays what? D has he ever heard of the Ramones before? And I go, well, I don't know. Let me ask him. Like, you want him to stand in? Like, you know? And so for those of you who turned in that night, you already seen this, but... Um, I go to the guy and go, hey man, um, I know you're here to do your own thing, but you also want to play bass like in the Ramones Rockaway Street Band. And he totally did it. He totally jumped. He goes, let me jam with them for like two minutes and I learn, you know, how they do and, and get in with it, you know? How fun. And, and they put a wig on them and everything. And uh, the pictures later, people are going, you know, I love them. They sounded great. They're so fun. They look great. I don't remember there being a black Ramon. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but there's a black Ramon now. You know yeah. what I mean? They look different than they well, used to. Well, half the people on. only wear Ramon <laughs> t-shirts anyways. And they don't even know what they look like. They have like no either. idea. So, what if one's been black the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> Name three songs the Ramon yeah. sing. Yeah. I love it. Hey, man, thanks so much for coming on. Hey, and thanks uh, for having me out here. You know, I love Riverside. And I, I like to give a shout out to uh, all the club owners around here in Riverside for bringing the punk rock scene back. You know, bands like uh, Punk Rock Karaoke. and uh, Oh, brilliant, yeah. brilliant. Get like, some headliners uh, out here. It's the awesome. The brilliant. Voodoo Glow Skulls, you know? Who do voodoo we do? I. Uh, <laughs> oh, you got us right there. I it. said, who do voodoo we do? We do. Fuck, Fuck you! you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we. I voodoo all day. I, I love it, I love it. Just so many, it's not dead. Brilliant performance. Thank you, uh, thank you. I wasn't he on of, the stage of the Voodoo Glow Skulls? Yeah, I have the honor of working with the Voodoo Glow Skulls as a roadie and also. Um, they let me wear the, the voodoo man mask and I moss around on stage and I have a good time and everything, you know. Yeah, how can you I, not have I, a good time? I love that band. On, right? yeah. Of course. The first place that band ever played was in my backyard when we grew up over here in Riverside in the La Sierra area, you know, and, and I've been a fan ever since. Ever since I was there when they did their first song together and that was Thirst Shop Junkie. I love that band. I will so always love that I feel about Buzzards band. and Buzzards, right, one day. Yeah. Look into the future, you know, it, yeah. it's coming up. Check out Belligerent Buzzards, guys. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, quick shout outs. I know we're going over time. Shout out to Brad. Hey, Brad. Bartender Brad, leaning over here. Look what I know. I'm trying to get in. I'm trying to get in. I brought some friends. Come on. Where's hey, my pop friends? in the frame. Where's my friends? Hey, yeah. We're where's about to friends? stream a badass music video, where's but let's say bye first. And then we're going to stream Anomaly's there music video. And check out Anomaly. And um, uh, Brad, do you, feel free to um, do whatever you want to do, man. You got all kinds of fun He's friends. Within anyway, so reason. <laughs> within reason. Within reason. And is this guy fun or what? I know. Show it to his bar. Oh. He, he, great service. He makes brilliant drinks and he, he flips all around. And uh, I know I love it. I'm writing a song called uh, Rolling Zinfandels. Zinfandels. Right? It's, it's uh, Zinfandels. We're not infidels. Uh, we're not. Ro it's Rolling Rock. You drink canned Rolling Rock and then you fill it up with white Zinfandel. Oh. And um, it scared what he's gonna do it's next. It's brilliant. It's actually delicious. Uh, wait till the song comes out. Hey, shout out to this fun chick. These are coming supporting girl. Woo woo! Anything you want to say to the crowd? Uh, I love Riverside. Yeah. Riverside. I said it better myself. Couldn't have said it better myself. Shout out to Eugene. He's our he's our AD. Woo woo! 
There's a man uh, behind the scenes who, who does a lot, but you don't see him doing it. And, I don't know uh, what's going on here, but I'm not saying no. Check out and buzz it. <laughs> check out Brad the Bartender. Anomalies music video is about to stream. Hey, guys, don't forget. Can't wait every for the music Wednesday, 9.30 p.m., iLiveTV.com. It's the Mini Green Show, your epic guide to Mini arts Green, thank you very much. Arts Entertainment. I E man. Okay, you my bad. Why do we die? Why do we die? 